Hello, this is Train for Print. My name is Marcus Cruz. Today we're going to speed paint train like this. The cleansing flame removes any wisps and blobs from your print. Don't forget to peel off these leftovers. Shake the spray can vigorously and then give the whole model a generous coat of paint. Spray from all angles. As I spray from above, I have to flip the model upside down to get what was previously hidden. Dry brush, and I'm using a skin tone. Soft, big brush, cheap from the paint store. Squirt blob of paint onto a piece of cardboard and work that paint into the bristles, wiping most of it off so the brush is more dry. Test the brush on the underside. Yeah, that's good. Be a little soft on the hand in the beginning and uh, increase the pressure. This is a very heavy dry brush and uh, it's good with this contrast. Uh, it will be uh, effective even from under the wash, like this, perfect. Now it's time for metallics. I'm using Vallejo paints. Uh, you don't have to have uh, this many, but uh, at least two for more variation. I'm using a flat, stiff brush that uh, can hold a lot of paint. It can cover lots of easily but it can also be used uh, on the side with the more precision work. Now I'm going to mix the main color for all the uh, window frames and such. I like it, this color. Stir it around. Too much gold, so add a little bit more silver. Perfect. Load your brush. And then using it on the side, paint as neat as you can. You will miss some. That's nothing to worry about. Uh, the wash will uh, hide most of your mistakes. Now I'll switch to another uh, hue and uh, start to paint uh, all the different details. I use copper for my pipes. I usually like to have some kind of uh, standard from what kind of equipment uh, have what color, but you do you. Don't forget to clean your brush once in a while. I Paint the housing around the pipes. I'm kind of sparing with this uh, silver paint as it's uh, very similar to the base coat. I also do some detail work here. Finally, I use this uh, dark brown. The uh, pot says tin color. Uh, I don't know. Uh, dark brown metallics and uh, uh, I also use this sparingly, but um, it's good with uh, variation. And don't forget to uh, throw away that water when you're done. Now it's time for the oil wash. I'm using white spirit. I have these glass jars from IKEA, Winsor Newton oil colors. I use uh, burnt amber and black. Just any quite big soft brush, not too big as for the dry brush. I'm actually going to use this for, for cleaning the brush later. These pots are 
airtight and that's nice because the smell can be nasty so I uh, uh, add a bunch of paint to this uh, piece of cardboard paints contain linseed oil and the cardboard will draw some of that out so we will let it rest on this uh, cardboard for a while here we see lots of the oil has been removed from the paint I use my uh, old wash it's the same thing white spirit and paint but uh, this one is much too weak as you can see hardly no paint so add more paint to it and stir it around lots let's test it yeah that's that's better yes so apply it all over the model this is a quick shotgun technique where you splash your model in paint it will darken the whole model but it will also deposit more into the recesses and uh, creating more contrast be sure to cover everything and uh, if you see it pooling somewhere you can uh, pick that up with a brush the downside of oil wash is that it takes a long time to dry leave it for 24 hours clean the brush first with the way the excess keep this uh, good wash and pick out the clean spirits and clean the brush after a while when this is polluted with paint it will become the new wash this is the end result this is a very quick paint job up close it doesn't look that good but uh, you're going to use this on a gaming table thanks for watching